Good morning, everyone. So I'm doing today's video vlog style. Before we get started on today's work, I gotta get up and feed the chickens. Good morning, girls. And you. So I've had to develop a way to feed the chickens without uh, getting attacked by the rooster because he's still with us, at least for the time being. Now, I heard from a few of you in the comments that there are ways to show your dominance over a rooster. And I saw a couple videos on it and I may try it. I don't have a lot of hope for it just watching the videos. I mean, some were successful and some others say it never worked. So I guess it probably depends on the rooster. And this one's pretty aggressive. So I actually started using this piece of wood just to hold as a shield when I go in there, uh, just to get the, the bowl. And it worked for a couple of times, but then after that, he got smart and just ran around the board and started clawing at my legs. So let me know if you'd like to see me do a video on trying to show my dominance over this rooster here. That could be pretty entertaining, if not a bit scary for me. So what I've started to do is grab a handful of food, get them all to run out here because they know I'm on this side now, throw it through the wire, oops, and on top of chickens. Hey, 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 you see, you're a little jerk. Then I run over here, then I run back in here, and quickly grab the bowl before they start running in here. Oh, here he comes. I hate you. And just so you know, I'm taking my life in my hands, holding a camera, and trying to do this with one hand. I have one of these here, which you fill up with food and then it has a little um, trough thing on the inside. The problem is this holds three days of food and they'll eat it all in one day. So I'm trying to come up with a different system that can solve this problem. I mean, I don't see, unless this dominance thing works, I really don't see another option to keeping this rooster around. So it is cloudy today. Um, we have been getting hammered by rain, which I'm not complaining about. We absolutely need it. I wish it would come in a little bit more uh, spread out storms rather than a whole bunch and then a whole bunch and then a whole bunch because the ground is absolutely saturated and it can't take anymore. So it just runs off. I mean, it's collecting somewhere. Hopefully the lakes around here are collecting water. But what that all means for me is that I have to get work done when I can and not always in the best conditions. And while it's so much easier to dig this soil when it's moist rather than hard as a rock dry, there is a lot of clay in this soil. And so it's very heavy, sticky, slippery. But a couple of days ago, I did manage to, uh, this was a big hole here, this wall you could see all the way down both sides. And so I was able to take the, the dirt over here and move it over and fill that in. And then I was able to dig this trench for the wall on this side. Now I've tried several times, I think unsuccessfully, to explain what I'm trying to do here with this path and the stairs that lead down. And a lot of times it comes down to bad lighting. You can't tell what the terrain here looks like exactly. But I'm thinking now with uh, this trench dug and the, the gravel in there, you might be able to see what I'm doing. So this is a six foot wide path. The wall on this side will be at the level of the path and then it steps down into the vegetable garden. And then on this side, there's gonna be a two and a half foot wall coming up this way, which is gonna hold back the soil up here. It's gonna go all the way up. It's gonna step up just like this wall. So I don't know if that's making any sense at this point. Hopefully getting started today on Hopefully getting started today on uh, this wall. And once I've got the top wall done, you'll 
start to see it because I even have a problem. I'm explaining it to you and then I watch it back when I'm editing and I'm like, I don't even, I know what I'm doing and I still don't see it. So that's today's job. Um, get as much of this as done as we can because tomorrow another huge storm front is coming in and then starting on Saturday, we've got four straight days of rain. So while I can, I'm gonna get as much done as possible. The good thing is I can skip workouts on days like today when I'm building the wall because there are three different size stones. The smallest stone is 20 pounds, the medium size is 30, and the biggest one is about 50 pounds. And I'm taking trips from up here all the way down, one at a time, so a full body workout every single day that I have to do this. And I'm not good at math, but when you look at all these stones here that I've put in over the past year, it's gotta be like a million, two million pounds. So right now I'm looking for the level and the mallet. Are there any other ADHDers out there who spend probably a third of your working time looking for tools? In my defense, and Illy's gonna kill me for showing this, but the garage is an absolute mess right now. We can't even get the car in because we put new storage racks up and kind of we're reorganizing everything. And we also found out the first time since we've moved here, so a year and four months, we went up in the attic and there are actual, there's actual space, lots of space up there. There's a light switch and a light and everything. So I put some wood up there yesterday and we were able to put some things in there, but we're saving the rest of this until tomorrow when it's raining because it's easier to do that in the rain than to be out digging. So back to the search for the tools. All right, I found the mallet. Uh, and Emily doesn't know where the level is. And you might wonder why Emily would, would know where the level is when I'm the one that uses it. Well, it's because she's my secondary brain. She's really my primary brain. I have to depend on her way too much, but she seems to always know where everything is, even though she doesn't use it. But not the level. I found it. And honestly, why wouldn't it be here with the seedlings? Duh. Okay, so I'm getting pretty efficient at this. Although, after lifting three and a quarter million pounds of stone, I should be. But it's only taken me about a half hour to 45 minutes to get this first run in. And that's the most time consuming part because you have to have each one level, front to back, side to side, level with its neighbor, and then keep going. The next few levels that I'm putting on are way easier because it's all, the work's already done. So I've got these yellow pegs in here and those keep the next layer, the next, next level of stones kind of locked in place. So now I'll let you see how quickly and easily the next uh, several layers of stone uh, stack up.
about two and a half hours since I started. And I have the section of wall that I can do pretty much finished. Take a look. So maybe now I can explain this where we can all understand it. There will be capstones on top of this. You can see I put some out there just to make sure I had the right height. The soil will fill in to the very top of these. Only the capstone will be higher. And then it will be filled in with decomposed granite on top of that to make it completely level. The first row of brick here are going to be covered with soil as well to meet up with this side. And then we've got a two and a half foot wall on top of that. Now this will continue down and... It will step down just like these, but you know, at the same. So stairs will go across basically to this level, and then this wall will step down and then continue across this way. And up there, it will step up and continue that way. If you want to see how I did the rest of this, I have that on my Next Level Gardening channel, a step-by-step -step tutorial on building these uh, Keystone dry stack walls. So here's another view from the top of the vegetable garden. So you can see the path will be going down, stepping down, going down, stepping down. And now the view from straight across the vegetable garden. So again, this wall will step up, be up here higher, and step down and be up here. So I hope all that makes sense finally. Um, it always helps to have a visualization so you guys can see what's happening in my head. Some of you are pretty good though. Some of you get it. Some of you like are able to visualize like me and kind of when I say something, you've, Bill fortunately is one of those people. Like the first time I invited him over here, he caught my entire vision. And so it's been so easy working with him because I basically just kind of tell him what I'm looking for and he does the whole thing with the tractor. So anyway. Now I gotta spend some time before the day is over making sure everything's ready again for the rain. All the tools are inside, the animals are taken care of. One funny thing, so every night, let me know, those of you who have roosters, if this is a thing. Every night when the hens all go into the chicken house and the door shuts, the rooster stays out here and sleeps on top of the stump. Is that a thing? Is he out here to protect them? The first night, we thought it was a flute. Maybe he just was out here, the door shut behind him, and he got stuck. And so he was kind of asleep, so I went in, I got him, I put him inside the chicken coop. But then I noticed the next night, the next night, when dusk was happening and the chickens were all going inside, he was settling in on the on the stump. So, so I don't know. Uh, which, I mean, I'm fine with if he wants to do that. I do worry about the rain coming though and how if he's smart enough to go inside if it rains or do I need to put up something on the roof? I might throw a piece of plywood up there and at least give him some shelter. I don't know what to do. Uh, any suggestions, let me know. By the time this video comes out, it will be raining already. Again, let me know what you thought of this vlog type format because it is much easier for me to film this way on this channel at least. Um, and then I'll be able to get more videos out because it's just easier to do the whole process. So I'll see you guys next time.